hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Kelechi Legan Franklin and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how you can be able to create coloring ebook within your smartphone this video has been requested by a lot of you because a lot of you see the laptops in order to create all of these things whether is it possible to use their phone and all of that so in this video I'm going to be using my smartphone to create all of these things and show you how to do it on your own for those of you who don't have a laptop and this will help you in order for you to get started and start selling online on Amazon and all of that so I'll try as much as able to give you the step-by-step -step process or how you can be able to do all of these things and i'll try as much as possible to make it very short and to the point so that you can be able to get started if you are joining for the first time my name is kelly again frankly all i do on this channel is to share tips and tricks strategy while the work i come here i share them with you you also go and do the same and get the same result all you just need to do right now is to click on the subscribe button turn on the notification icon and don't forget to give this video a like so that more people can be able to see this video and all of that if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for subscribing it goes a long way to tell me to do more videos and educative videos like this and all of that so without wasting much time let's get down to my screen so that i can be able to show you how to create all of this is on canva the tools you need and some of the exciting which you need to use in order for you to create all of these things and all of that so let's get started so guys before we go into the canva to start creating i want you to take note of some certain things this is pizza bay it's one way that you can be able to collect stock images and then use it in your creation whether you want to create coloring ebook or any type of book you want to create you can come here pick some stock image and use them on canva so right now i'm going to show you some things like assuming you want to create a coloring in book you can decide to come here and download mandala mandala uh, uh, stock images if you type mandala it will now appear like this as you can see here these are different mandala uh, template on or, or pictures in which you can use in creating whatever thing you want to create so depending on the one you want to use you can decide just to tap on it let me take I, I tap on this right now all i have to do right now is just click on download and now download it to now go automatically on my phone once i click on download it will now tell me to download with the png that i want i just click on download it will automatically go into my phone and then all i have to do is to re-upload it on canva and then use it to in my creation now once it has downloaded I'll go to my Canva, then upload it and use it to create whatever I want to create. Now you can see that you have you have different templates in which you can be able to download here on Pixabay and then use it for your stock images in which you can use to do whatever thing. All you just need to do is to download it. They are all free and then you can use it to do whatever thing you want to do. But the very next thing you need to do is to go to Amazon Cover Calculator. Amazon cover calculator will help you to know the dimension of the book you want to create. So depending on what you have in mind, you want to create a 6 by 9 inches book, you want 8.5 by 11 inches book. All you need to do is to come to Amazon cover calculator and then do your calculation before you go into Canva to start creating. So right now I've gone to Amazon cover calculator and this is it. This is how it will appear on your phone. All you just need to do is to know the dimension or the template in which you need in order for you to start making your creation. Now, this is it. All I have to do is to start selecting what I need or the parameters that I need in order for me to do my creation. Now, when it comes to the binding type, you leave it at paper bag. When it comes to the interior type, leave it at black and white. When it comes to the paper type, leave it at white called paper when it comes to paper tone direction leave it at left to right then when it comes to measurement leave it as inches then when it comes to the interior trim size leave it at 8.5 by 11 inch then when it comes to um the number depending on how many number you want right let me just use for instance i want to create a 62 beach page count i'll just leave it as a two all i have to do right now is to click on calculate dimension now once it has calculated the dimension all i have to do is to look at what i need now as you can see at the top here these are the different parameters you need especially this number one here which is the full cover size and uh, as you can see that the full cover size is 17.39 by 11.25 this is what you need so you need to take note of that then when it comes to the interior you need to understand that you are creating an 8.5 by 11 inch but when you understand how all of these things work you will know that you need to add some spine space areas in which even when it's using cut your interiors will not be cut out now this is where all of this dimension is needed so when you add this spine area this 0 0.015 
and all of that you see that your interior should be around 8.625 by 11 0.25 so that's what you'll be using as your interior and all of that so all you just need to do right now is to download all you just need to do is to download this particular template you come to this direction here click on download template and then go to your canva and upload it and then use it to do your creation so once you have downloaded it it will give you a guideline on what to do so i'll be going to my canva right now so that we'll start doing our creation so this is my canva right now and all you need to do right now is to understand how Canva is. Canva is a free uh, web design app in which allows you to do your creation on any particular uh, design you want to do. So right now you need to understand how it works and all of that. That's not what I'm explaining on this particular video, but I'll just tell you the basics in which you need to know. If you don't have it or you've not signed up on Canva, I'll leave the link in the description. Do where to use it to sign up and all of that. So right now, all you just need to do is to come to this dance area where you see a plus sign. Just click on it. Once you click on it, you will see at the top here where they say custom. So you can see that you have the opportunity to put in the width and the height of what you want to create. Now, first of all, I'll change this from pixel to inches in which is what we want to use it to create in. Then I'll put my weight, which is 8.625, 625. So this 625 comprises of both the spine area and all of that, in which when it's being caught, it will now come back to 8.5. So I'll leave it at 11.25 for the height. Then once I do that, I'll click on create design and it'll take me to the next canvas. And this is the interior of the book, so I understand that. Now, once you have been able to put in the interior, you need to show you that you can use your phone, but all you just need to understand that it's it has some limitations. It's quite different when you're using your laptop, which has a lot of features and all of that. So, but you can still manage to use it. Now, the next thing you need to do is to bring in the stock images in which you have downloaded, either from Pixabay or any other website in which you have downloaded some stock images for your design. So you have the option now to go to your um, upload, upload it on your phone and all of that. But you can also decide to um, go from the element and then look for mandala template or mandala and then use it here. So you just need to do it to go to the area, type mandala. Then once you type on mandala, you will see that to bring out some free image tools in which you can use too for your creation so this is it it's loading up as you can see here these are different mandalas that are for free the only one you see for pro understand that you need to pay for it in order for you to use it let me see i just click on this for instance in order for me to use it for my design all i have to do is to use it so right now as you can see you have the option to use these areas and all of that so now take note you will see that there is another line across this image that i'm using if you pass this line you, your book will not be approved on on uh, amazon so all you just need to do is to be on this safe area don't pass across this safe area so that your book will not be rejected so be on this safe area ensure that your book is your your designs are inside the safe area i can also decide to duplicate this and all of that so you can decide to do that on your own all you just need to do is to understand how all of these things work now i have created my first page but this will not be my first page you only need to be creative right here so I've, let me say i assume i'm done with this particular page and i want to design another page i can also decide to put in some alphabet depending on the kind of book i want to create and all of that so this is the next page now i just click on it but uh, i want to show you something that you can also do for those of you who want to create uh, children books that are for numbers and all of that so all you just need to do right now is to come to go to your um go to your text bring in some text image which you can be able to put in some numbers which you can, can use as a coloring book and all of that you just type in what you want let me say that i want to put the first page as this book belongs to me this book this book belongs to belongs to so let me say that this is what the image or the the word i want to use then all i have to do is to come down to this area here go to effect once you go to effect you will see hello hello so all you just need to use to use it as you can see that this thing can be used ensure that your 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 letters do not pass the lines or the guidelines here in which canva is showing you and once you are done with that the next thing i have to do or have to bring in is to go to element i'll bring in my lines i'll go to lines and shape 
in which will allow me to um, uh, in which will allow me to be able to put in some lines so that the person can be able to write his or her name on the particular book in which he wants to so all i have to do right now is to come to this line then go to lines and shape then pick one of the lines here in which i can be able to use then as you can see here all i have to do is to stretch it out stretch it out okay you stretch it out you can design with your phone but remember there are some limitations as you can see this book is on the line here so this is it let me say that this is the first page once i'm done with this i can decide to come to this button here click on this area here so that i can move this to the first page all i have to do right now is to take it to the first page let it be the first page that the person will see now once it is the first page the next thing i have to do is to create another page now when it comes to coloring book you need to understand too that uh, when you are creating a coloring book you need to have least some space in which even though it's being colored it will not affect the next page so that is why when you create like this page two now you need to leave it you need to leave it here then page three you leave it blank then you create for page four create four you can now decide to bring in another image in which you can also use in creating for your design so let me say that i want to create this page four now and now all i have to do is to go back again to my element or to my upload and then bring in the image that i have in mind so let me go back to mandala again okay I already have them here so I'll go back to Mandala again which I have created so you need to take your time and go through all of these things and then bring in the design in which you have in mind and all of that so you need to look for the particular design you want and then you come here you paste them again and then so you will do this until you get up to um, 62 pages that's for this particular book that I'm creating with my phone once it's up to 62 pages the two pages include both the white, the blank area, and the design. So that means the design will be 30 design, and then a, a blank area which is 30 design too. Plus, and you also add the you add the individual will add his name and the first page cover it to now make it 30, 62. So all of these things will imply I will give you what you are looking for. You can also decide to change the color of this, but many at times the color does not, or using your phone to change the color will not apply on the phone but if you use your laptop it always apply as you can see here it has a, it has happened sometimes it doesn't work but this time it works here okay so you can also decide to bring in different image like if you want to bring in toys for children you can also add them here and then use it in creating change the color those free those toys for children you can go to your element type toys and then once you look for the particular design you have in mind you can use it to creating now let me say that you have been able to create all your pages and they are up to 62 for instance they are up to 62 parties for this particular design all you just need to do is to go at the top here then click on this download area you go to download once you go to download you can also go back let me say i go back in order for me to know the name of this book in order for me to rename i go at the top here then look at this place they say this will belong i'll change the name let me say that I, I give it a name let me say that i give it a name in which i want that i can be able to do what i want so let me say that i want to give this under an interior i'll say that the interior 62 page for instance so that i can remember it or know it it will not be difficult for me to identify then once i'm done with it then uh, all i have to do right now is to go to the upside here click on download then once i click on download i will now select download in pdf print once i click on download in pdf print ensure that your your, your page count is 62 and then i click on download it to automatically download on my phone so once it has automatically downloaded on your on your phone the next thing you need to do is to go ahead to create the cover of the book in which you want and then you get started so the next thing we need to do right now is to create a cover so guys to create our cover you still go to the same custom size do the same thing we did all you just need to do is click on this custom size ensure that you have changed this to inches ensure that you have done that then you put it on 17.3939 and 11.25 which is the interior these uh width and height varies depending on the number count of your book so once you do that different counts of different book have each book count has different height and width so you need to understand that that is why you need to use your cover 
Amazon calculator to understand or use it in doing what you want to do. So right now I've been able to uh, bring in the, the canvas in which I need to use. Now you can see that Canva will be give you different templates in which you can use in doing your design and all of that. So I don't want to use any of these particular design which have been provided by uh, Canva. All I have to do is to go to my element, do the design myself and then get started. So I can now decide to bring in some um, uh, sh some element in which I need. Let me use this shape for instance to get started. Now all I have to do is to design depending on what I have in mind. So right now all I have to do right now is to take this at the top. Now once I've been able to take it at the top, I will take it to the down, stretch it and all of that. So the same way you do it with your laptop, you can also do the same here. You can decide to change the color and all of that so that you don't get wrong and all of that. So you can decide to change the color depending on what you have in mind to create. So once you have been able to do this for a start, the next thing you need to do is to bring in probably you have an, uh, you have a particular design which you want to use or you have downloaded from different uh, platform you can just decide to come here and then use it let me say you downloaded this particular stock image to use it for your design so all i have to do right now is to stretch it to the to the end and then bring this down once i've been able to bring it down here So once I've been able to do this, the next thing I have to do is to go back to the test area, go to my text and then give it a name. Then I come to this text area, just give it a name, design it. Let me say that I want to give this uh, a name. Let me say that the name I want to give it is um, space, space coloring book space coloring book space coloring book space coloring book for kids book for kids so this this for this is an example that's this is not the name i want to give but you know the best all you just need to do is to go to amazon for instance and then look for different designs in which other people have created model it and then do something unique for yourself and then get started with it so i'm just giving you for this particular tutorial in which you can use then you can decide to change the font size all of that so all i have to do is to reduce the size here then ensure that it is at the end as you can see the guideline that canva is giving me so i, I don't have to see this particular line so that even though the book is being cut out and all of that so once my book is here this is the name that i want to give it you can also decide to put bring in other designs and decorate it once you are done with this cover all you just need to do is to come here you click on download and then once you click on download you now go to pdf print again click on download and then your book is being downloaded so this is it guys this is how you can be able to create your book you can you can be able to use your phone to do all of these things you can do it and remind remember don't forget that uh, when you are creating your interior your interior if it's up to 100 page count you cannot exceed that all you just need to do is to do it two times then you can use uh i love pdf in order to merge them together and then you upload it on amazon and get your facebook published in my previous video i've been able to show how you can be able to upload your book on amazon with the right keywords and all of that so you can watch those videos in order for you to understand how to do all of these things this is how you can be able to create it to your phone and get started and start making a lot of money for yourself on amazon there are different books in which you can create you can use your phone to do it remember you can use your phone to create it but the features are limited and you can get started with what you have for now when you start making some sales you can decide to upgrade with your laptop and all of that if you have any question or things you don't get clear you can leave your comment in the comment section i will always there to answer you if you got value from this video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video and don't forget to turn on the notification so that youtube will always notify you whenever i drop educative and informative content like this see you on my next video peace